So one of the things that people always worry about with intermittent fasting is that they've been told that they'll go into starvation mode. What this means is that it's a uh, where your basal metabolic rate, that is the energy that you expend for your organs, your liver, your heart, your brain, goes down. So if you normally, for example, burn 2,000 calories a day, then in under this sort of starvation mode, you might go down to 1,500 calories a day. And what this uh, means is that you may feel very cold, you may feel tired, you may feel lethargic. And this is what they refer to as starvation mode. And this is one of the main reasons people uh, tell you not to fast. Unfortunately, this isn't true. So when you look at studies of fasting, what happens to the body is completely different. The body switches fuel sources, and instead of uh, burning the food, it burns the food that's been stored away in your body. In fact, that's what it's there for. And the body stores away the food as glycogen, as also uh, body fat, for longer duration fast. And because there is adequate food on your body, it doesn't need to slow down its uh, basal metabolic rate. Ironically, what you do see uh, this sort of starvation mode or this uh, shutdown of your metabolism is when you try to chronically restrict your calories. So we know that if you simply reduce your calories by 500 calories a day, you will eventually slow down the output of your calories, that is the calories out will decrease. So, so if you try to chronically restrict your calories, then you likely will go into this uh, basal metabolic rate slowdown or starvation mode. Fasting, on the other hand, the difference is that with fasting, you make these changes in your hormones that allow you to access so the stores of food on your body, that is the body fat um, and the glycogen. And this is a normal process. It happens every day. When you eat, you store energy. When you don't eat, you pull the food energy back out. If you eat small amounts constantly throughout the day, because you're eating, insulin goes up and tells your body to store food energy, and it doesn't allow you to bring that food energy back out or digest that. So if you follow that sort of strategy of eating all the time, small amounts, you're not going to have access to the body stores of energy, that is the body fat, and you're not going to be able to burn it. So if you're only taking in 1,500 calories, you're only going to be able to burn 1,500. And that's one of the reasons that uh, intermittent fasting or lengthening the amount of time that you spend not eating, which allows those hormonal changes for you to access the body fat and the energy that's stored on your body. The other uh, major concern that people have is that they're going to burn muscle. And this has been promoted in lots of different places, but again, it simply is not true. Why would your body store food energy as body fat, but as soon as you need it, it would burn muscle. That doesn't make any sense. In fact, that's not what happens. In fact, if that were to happen, every night that we sleep where we have a uh, prolonged 12-hour fasting period, we should start losing muscle all the time, but that doesn't happen. Your body stores uh, the food energy and it takes it back out and it doesn't affect the muscle stores. So, and the other thing that people don't look at is that when you uh, don't eat, your growth hormone goes up so that when you eat again, your body will build up those necessary proteins uh, that it needs. So in fact, what you're doing is breaking down old sort of junky protein and rebuilding with new protein. So it's in fact a renewal uh, process. So, so if you look at studies, uh, there's been several uh, studies of intermittent fasting or alternate daily fasting where people eat for one day and don't eat for the next day. And what they find is that the lean mass is preserved much better using this sort of alternate daily fasting strategy compared to a daily caloric restriction because you're getting this a little bit of breakdown but then a little bit of building back up. So you're actually able to maintain that protein but in fact it's a lot healthier because you're having turnover instead of having old protein you've got this sort of new protein. So those two main myths which is starvation mode, metabolic rate slowdown, and number two burning muscles, they, they, they don't actually hold up.